Hello, friend Obindos, and welcome back to the Binding of Isaac Afterbirth Plus Let's Play. Challenges, 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 challenges. Let's do some challenges. It's in the cards. It's in the game. EA Sports. All right, what do we have? We have a seed. 12, D7, GZ, B1. We have some batteries. And we got some cards. It looks like we got some more cards. <gasps> the Hierophant. Such a good card. We will hold on to this, and we could actually use another one right there. We got a Wheel of Fortune and a Temperance, so we have, like, a Blood Bank. So, where do we need to go? We need just to fight Mom. So, looks like a pretty easy challenge we got going on today. Pretty easy peasy with some Lemon Squeezies challenges. And these cards will be charging a little extra fast. Um... No, Temperance, we could actually throw that down there. Get a little bit of money out of it. And pick up the Child's Heart. I think that's what that is? Yeah. So I think we should be getting a little more extra hearts out of everything. Go straight down. We found the boss. I'm definitely going to hold on to the Hierophant to get those Spirit Hearts saved up for a later, later day. A rainy day, as you may say. We have one bomb, but... Um, he can use it for an easy Duke of Fly win, but we don't really need an easy Duke of Fly win. We could have an easy win just by uh, fighting him. It's not going to be a quick win. Quick is not always easy. Easy is not always quick, but it's it's not a bad fight. He's almost dead anyways. I'm going to place the bomb just for a fast win. Just have to fight off these massive flies. Huge, huge flies. And there we go. So we did get an extra red heart too, so we can play the blood bank a little more. Got a belly button with a worm. Got speed upgrade, I think that is. Not 100% sure. Something like that. What do we want from there? We definitely want some more money. Five cents is good, because that'll give us a special room over there. Any way we can move any of these out of the way? There is not. There we go. And we found a secret room, so we could bust that button open. Have a key beggar. Ooh, I think we would rather have the callus. Ooh, we get we get multiple options. We have a wheel of fortune here. There is health up here that I cannot retrieve. We may just continue on. I, I'll probably play the blood bank probably two more times. Blow these up. Oh, here it comes. <coughs> oh, good sneeze. Good sneeze. Oh, just letting out the demons. There we go. And we could blow some of those up, but it's not really worth it. We got our heart back here. With that heart back... Mmm. So we probably don't need Child's Heart. We could do... How can we switch out these trinkets to be what we want? We could grab that. Grab that. And then they're not going to rotate. Okay, so we should be good. Alright, so we already have our... Arcade room right here. Paid up scent to it, but we could always come back. I say it's a scent well spent. A well spent scent. Oh yeah, this shot speed, this whip worm definitely launches these tiers incredibly fast. So it is an enjoyable upgrade. And what can we do? We could use this chariot card in our favors towards that blood bank a little bit. See what we get out of it. All right, we got another card here. We got two of clubs. Clubs are bombs. But do we want to double our bombs? Not right this second, but we could get some uses out of it. So we're going to chariot and try and get as much money. Oh, not very much money. Uh, we, we did get a, uh, a coin out of it. Wait, so we want to hold off on bombing that right this second. Because we can come back for it. Use this again. We got the strength card, which we could kind of use for a deal with the devil. Okay, so here's how you do this. You you only get one nickel out of it, but it was worth it. If we need that other nickel. We could try and bomb it out of there. But right now, we definitely have enough money for a shop. Um, yeah, any item from the shop we could definitely get. But we're trying to see if any more bombs drop, because doubling 
three, four, five bombs um, increases its value output. Secret room right there, or not secret room, a spiked room, which could possibly indicate a secret room next to it. Oh, it's tough to tell. Okay, these guys are trying to bust us into their friends, but nothing to be worried about too bad. Because they're not going to shoot out anything, we just got to avoid hitting them. This isn't too bad. Not, not, not the most difficult. Alright, so any... Yeah, so that could definitely be a secret room there. Very real opportunity. And one thing about this whipworm is it makes our tears go incredibly fur far. Incredibly further? And get it to the other side of the room quite easily. Okay, so that is a secret room. That is good to know. Alright, do we... Here's what we do. We buy one bomb because it's gonna really be two, two bombs. bombs. Bomb our friend right here. Give you any money he did. Seven cent PhD. Hey, that was really good. Fire rate up, even though our fire rate is ridiculous. He dropped a ton of money. Okay, okay. He, oh, we don't have our strength card. This sucks. So, there is a right way to do this. Phyllis baby, pentagram, dead cat. Then you get a heart back. That's so fine. So yeah, we just uh, really increased our odds there. Who was spades? Spades are key. Buy one of these and then I'm gonna reroll. Mm -hmm. uh, I was hoping for diamonds. And I don't have enough money right now to buy anything else. Yeah, that, that I was making sure I was like, maybe I did have the strength card, but now that is not the strength card. That is the Wheel of Fortune card. We're very fortunate right now. We are super strong, especially just to be fighting mom. Like, I'm surprised it's not like a mom's heart fight. This this wasn't a drastic like screw you over type deal. Yes. We got the Hierophant again. That is just a wonderful card to get. All right, and we should just go on to the next floor. I don't think we need to prolong this run by any means. Take a sip of some water. Catacombs one. Yeah, and our rate of fire is incredible. I am a fan of how fast we are shooting. Ooh, we did miss out on that tinted rock, but I mean, out of all things considered, we should be fine. So really, we just kind of, I mean, we could still shop at the shop. It's not really necessary. Just kind of need to go for the bosses, and I think we could rush this through. It'd be interesting to see what we get out of this. Um, we actually get a card uh, reward, or if it's a non-card reward. I don't think it will be. It's just probably to keep us on our toes. Two golden keys. Eh, not, not, not my favorite. Not the worst, but not definitely not my favorite. We're gonna get a card in a second anyway. And the PhD may have been a bad choice because I don't think we're gonna be getting too many pills. I don't know. Might as well use this wheel of fortune. Wheel of fortune. Just to see what it was offering. Uh, spoiler alert, nothing good. Nothing amazing. Alright, and then we do have... Greed right here. It's not greed. Lust, I think. Iro, uh, most likely. And Edwin. You know what I thought about? We don't have to worry about spikes. We have the callus. Like, I've been kind of concerned. We could have grabbed that nickel off that floor. You know, if anyone was watching this, I was like, hey, just, just grab it. You know, sometimes it is difficult to watch when, when you see someone uh, doing something that you could easily point out that they should know better. Um, but there's just that one aspect you don't think about. There's a lot of moving parts. I just didn't see that move. So, three keys, that is a ton of keys. Not like we need them though. Uh, we'll go for the red cards. Be interesting to see what they are. Two of spades, we'll use it. Have a ton of... 
keys. Not a secret room. Two of hearts. Useless for us. So we have death, fortune. Use fortune. I just kind of want to use the cards to get them out of our rotation that we don't need. And then we still have another two of spades. I'll use it just so we have, like, more keys than we will ever need in our entire playthrough of this run right now. 40. I mean, what else can we use the keys for? It's just, like, really golden chests and shops. Got the Empress. And we blow this guy up. Oh, that was actually a good explosion. We got, like, four, four little nubs out of it. We'll get the horseman. Do we want to be? Do we want to replace with flight? Um, I don't know. It's a little tougher now because we don't have to worry about spikes. That's one of the main things about being able to fly is you don't have to worry about the spikes. But I still think it may be worth it on our end to go for the headless horseman. It'll definitely make us quicker, and we can clear any gaps that we might have issues with. I'm gonna go ahead, um, grab it. Kind of ruins the challenge, the spirit of the challenge at least. I'm fine with it. Alright, so we got Curse of Darkness, obviously the most annoying curse. Um, grab this money. Anything? Blood bag? Nope. <laughs> oh, we could go up. It's just a golden chest. So nothing like really that I need. We do have a 72% chance to deal with the devil. No deal with the angel yet, but I think when we're fighting the boss, it might actually adjust to be like, hey, you do have the opportunity to grab it, even though we took some deals with the devil, so maybe it'll stay a 0% chance. Maybe we kind of already messed up our deal, which is fine. I'm not I'm not too concerned about it. Oh, we can't overcharge our charges, too. I, I wasn't even paying attention to the battery, because there's no reason to hold on to the cards when you have them. All right, so what is this? This is going to be Ancient Recall, so that's three free cards. We got the Joker. Strength, strength. So you know what we could do? We could take the Joker and the Strength card. <clears throat> We're not guaranteed to deal with the Devil on this one. I'm not going to take the Joker card yet or use it just yet because we have a pretty solid chance to deal with the Devil. If we don't get it, I'll absolutely use it. That's a big if. These guys are tanky boys, and I'm starting to realize our damage, um, <clears throat> while it's fine, is not great. Be a lot better. We got a health upgrade coming at us, hard and fast, on the next floor. Which, which I appreciate. Um, but yeah. So, how do I feel about challenges, you know? Some of them aren't very challenging. And, you know, sometimes it's nice just to be able to kick back, relax, enjoy the run. Because, you know, this game is not afraid to make things hard for you uh, in certain circumstances. And I know it's going to get incredibly hard with the um, super hard run. Um, there's one where you don't get any items, I believe. That one will be pretty tough. The judgment. We could give him all our money, or we could give all our money to shop. I'd probably rather give Judgment all our money, because these items suck. Oh, my friend, just pop some good stuff out. We got the compass. Not a bad item. Oh, so we actually know where we're going now. Sick. You know, we don't even need the callus anymore. Because we can fly. So I'm going to actually swap it out. I thought about, like, holding on to it in case we get another active item, but I'm like, you know, we're, we're fine. We don't need to double up. And the Whip Worm is actually doing us good, so we'll hold off on that. Now we know where the bosses are every time because of the compass, so... This run should be over, like, incredibly shortly. This is going to be one of our shorter runs. Got Mama Gertie right here. What's she going to do? Is she going to pop out enemies? Is she going to fire at us? I mean, she's definitely popping out enemies. But is she just a spawner? She she does look like a champion version. Champion versions, you know, they mix up their moves. Yeah, this one's definitely not shooting at us. This is a pure spawn dirty. As far as I can tell. You know, I, I wish it would have shot at me, just to prove me wrong right at that second. Because it'd be kind of funny. Be like, hey, this one's just going to spawn and then get hit. That's like comedy 101, just... Unexpected results. Mix it up. Alright, so we did get a deal with the devil. We got Cracker Jacks. Our prize there, I don't... What What the hell is that? A tonsil? I don't want a tonsil, that's gross. Alright, so... 
this kind of sucks. This Whor Babylon's not going to do us any good. And neither is the Razor Blade, really. I'm going to skip on out. We have two more floors, and we are above average, it seems. We even see a mini boss. Oh. Say we fight the mini boss and then go from there. <laughs> Please don't hit me. These guys are just my nightmare. So are those spiders. I didn't want to fight the mini boss because we could get something good out of it. We could get the virus, I believe, out of this one. But uh, we did not. We got a moon card. Let's see where the moon takes us. Secret room. It's right here. Oh, that sucks because we got to go back now. But we will be able to see into our shop. Mr. Meeks. Don't want it. <laughs> Don't need it. Don't have any desire for it. Are there any tiny rocks here? Yeah, we need to go back to the regular game and unlock the tiny rock. That would definitely be worthwhile it worthwhile for us I think any rocks will glow won't they isn't that the purpose of this trinket I don't see any so we'll just keep on keeping on man all right skeleton friends nothing to be ashamed of so we'll swing over this way and go for a boss right yeah, right up there. We could also hop into our curse room if we would really like to. Yo, why did we get that ability? That guy had a skull above his head, and I just instantly sh I killed him first, and it was definitely worth it. For the fool to get out of here, we have the Hierophant. Yo, thank you for that bomb blowing that up, making my life slightly easier. What's up, Joker Strength Rail? Right? Yep, that's exactly what I would like. Slide up and over. And the eyeless ooze, guys. Getting kind of crushed on Headless Baby. Headless Baby's doing some work for me. I thank him for that. Much appreciated. We got Loki. Loki, easy fight, easy fight. Nothing difficult, nothing difficult, nothing hard. Super easy. Pretty predictable pattern. We'll just avoid his bees. The bomb flies. I don't even know what caused that one to blow up. I wasn't even shooting at it. Just decided it was it was time. The time limit on it was like, hey, time for me to blow. And one more. Yeah, our damage sucks. But, we can go for We can even strength card if we want to, which I'll do. No. Are we going to lose the health? Yeah, <laughs> we, were too, we weren't smart enough for that. Figure that extra health would help out. Maybe if we were down to our last, or maybe if we were down to zero health and we used it, it would be worth it. No. Okay, so we got lust here. Poison touch, maybe? We'll see. Nope. Chariot. Now we're kind of low on health because I got greedy with it, but it's fine. Oh, okay. We need to stop getting hit. <laughs> but also, we're right at the on fight with a chariot card. But, like, please stop getting hit. <laughs> Can't afford it. I mean, I could afford it. We could, we could do this run again. I'm not I'm not scared of this run, but I mean, we, we got a good setup. I just hate to squander it. You know what? That was not the way to the boss. We are close to the library, though. I'll check out what that has. I just took that. Right. The dumbest. Well, we also have Guffy, so if we die. We could respawn with a ton of health, or re respawn with one health. Excuse me. Look up a while. We have no ability to. What was I gonna say? 
Generate spirit hearts. I was looking for a book of revelations. It's nothing yet. But we should be fine. Hopefully this will give me at least one more spirit heart. And then I feel like we got the fight. We got it down pat. Get a bomb there. I have plenty. Secret room, maybe? Yeah. Spirit heart? No. <laughs> oh, one right there. One right there. Oh, okay. So we can get we can still get hit quite a few times and not worry. It's just the harder mom fight. Am I worried? Eh, I give us a 70% chance of beating it. Um, the first time. Now, if we don't get it, we might be able to go to the shop, um, get some spirit hearts out of the machine, keep re-rolling, that sort of thing. It's it's not impossible. There, I mean, there's definitely ways to do it. And that might drop some spirit hearts. Nope. We gotta remember we got a Thane too. A Thane might be able to get us some spirit hearts. Yeah. I mean, we, we just gotta make the most of it right now. If we get really low on health, just use, um, don't forget to drop the chariot card. It's definitely worth it. I don't know if mom did one half a heart of damage or two, or a full heart. <laughs> I was gonna say two half hearts, which is just a full heart. No, she definitely does one heart of damage, so she could kill us very easily. Let me get in there. Okay, so that kind of sucks. We just have to avoid her stomping down on us. I, I don't mind taking damage from an enemy. Just watch out for that stupid foot. Or her hands. Her hands popping out could kill us very easily. Oh, please drop a spirit heart. Oh, yo, this is, this is going to be tense now. Because we do not have enough damage. We're gonna have to find some way to survive here, guys. He's not popping out of the walls or sky enough. Please just kill her. This is tense. We are in the thick of it, ladies and gentlemen. Please just stomp her down. Kill her. <laughs> Please. Thank you. <laughs> Yo, the intensity there was real. You know, uh, <laughs> uh, we unlock super. Pain. Oh, so that's SMB. Uh, it's the saw blade. That that's a really good item. <sighs> Thank you guys for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day, and I'll see you next time. See you.